Alrighty, we are ready for our next club event after finishing the uh, non-turbo cup. So, let's just fail to navigate these menus and uh, let's go on to our next club event, the classic 911 cup. So, take any pre-1970 Porsche out for this most celebrated event raced on three of Monte Carlo's circuit tracks. Be sure your Porsche is turned for circuit racing rather than open war road racing, as this event can get... intense. So, three races around Monte Carlo, uh, 2500 entry fee, limited to pre-1970 911s, expert difficulty. So this ought to be interesting, and uh, I'm actually going to be able to buy a different car this time, because in the used car lot, um, I can buy the other classic era 911 that I don't have. Well, you know. Because I have the 911 S Coupe, but... Instead of having to use that again, we have, well, we have the regular coupe, but we also have the S Targa, and uh, I'm gonna get the Targa. Because, yeah, so, let's see. Looks like it's pretty standard. It's pretty much standard everything, damn. Alright. Hey, look, it's got an LS. <laughs> no. Damn it, I do that every time. Because I don't pay attention. Okay, I want to actually... Okay. So. So yeah, we'll take this. So about 30 grand. A little... Yeah, about 30 grand. For it. So, uh, do that. And, uh, let's, let's dress this bitch up. Oof. First things first, repair it. Boom, there we go. Apparently there's like a little exploit you can do with money by um, buying used cars, repairing them, and then reselling them. Considering I just spent, you know, 6.7 thousand to, to uh, repair this thing, I can resell it for 13 thousand more than I bought it. Profit. Not gonna do that though, so. Again, I'm going to leave the paint colors and everything the same, just because it's a used car and I'm stupid like that. And thank you very much, Survivor, for the 19-month resub. Thank you, dude. Greatly appreciate that. Hello. Hello. So we're going to leave it like that, put my car number on it. And now, let's see what we got for parts. Ah, oh, don't tell me I have all my, uh... Upgrade parts on my other. Nah, I don't think I do. I hope I don't. Pretty sure. Yeah, I took all the parts off. I'm just stupid. Let's just do. Put all these fiberglass parts on. Slicks. Uh, standard, standard, sport brakes. Yeah. A lot of standard parts. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at my other uh, 911, my classic 911. What the fuck do I have on this thing? Okay, it's all standard engine parts. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. Well, let's uh, let's upgrade this thing. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. And uh, I'm just gonna upgrade the fuck out of this thing. So start with the throttle body. 15 into 20 horsepower there. Carburetor upgrade. Boom. Uh, flywheel, I'm not going to do... Oh, actually, I'm going to do a high-performance carburetor. Much better than medium performance. Fuck that. Get out of here. And it's also not even that much more expensive. It's like 60 bucks more. Uh, let's see. Performance air filter. Get that for another five to ten horsepower, or we can get the cone conversion to give us ten to fifteen. Do that instead. Let's see. High performance exhaust, sure why not? Twenty to thirty-five horsepower increase. Boom. And whoops. Uh, transmission, I'll leave. You know what? I'll do the pro suspension setup here. Pure race cars. 
I mean, we are driving at race, you know, the Monte Carlo racetrack. Three different layouts of it, so why not? You know, he's durable. He's durability when you got speed. Ooh, should I do the arrow upgrade? Oh, you can put a ducktail on this thing? Alright, um... Let's see, what is this stiff sway bar? This way where his body roll a card during lateral load transfers. Eh, let's do the stiff sway bar. I think I already have slick tires, so I don't need that unless it's raining, in which case I'll need rain tires. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna get the uh the bumper upgrades. Actually no. Because I don't know which ones are watch. I'm gonna get the ducktail. And because I don't know which item uh, looks what way. I'm gonna go with upgrade three because Dale. Why not? Let's see. Very well, great enhanced look. Possibly the aerodynamic performance. Okay, so there we go. There's all the parts we're gonna get for our 911. Five thousand four hundred thirty-two dollars. But yeah, I'm not hurting for money with all those previous failed attempts. So yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and put. Our parts on as soon as I fucking find them. A little throttle body. Eh, carbs. That's high performance exhaust. Which is good. Professional racing springs. Professional racing shocks. And sway bar, it's already got slicks installed. All right, so let's take a look at the car before I put the body panels and the ducktail on it. So here's how it looks right now. And here's what the front bumper looks like. There's a stock front bumper. All right, you got that mental image? Taking your screenshots? Okay. Let's put the, uh, the other things on. So, do that. Ducktail spoiler. And now let's see what it looks like. No, that's actually not as big as I was th I was expecting. I was expecting like a big ass t uh, spoiler. No, that's not that bad. Quite like that actually. It looks nice. And bumper. Ooh, some added. Uh, so that's, that's a tough little bumper right there. Like it. All right. Well, that's how we're gonna race it. So. It's a whale tail. Oh, okay. I don't know my terminology. I'm stupid. All right. Well, with that all done, let's enter the classic 911 Cup. There are three races, starting with the Monte Carlo Circuit Layout One. And uh, let's go. Let's go. And hope that this is actually going to be good enough. Three, two. One, go! I don't even know if I'm gonna. Oh man, oh man, that acceleration. Yeah. Alright, I got the power, but do I have the control? Ooh. Nice tight entry. Big slide. I wouldn't say the hairpin's easier, but it's definitely definitely different from the real life uh, Monaco course. Oh, we're reaching top speed already. Oh, <laughs> I forgot where we were going. We're, we're doing we're going straight and fast. Excuse me. Get my way, wingnut. Ah. Right, up a little turn. A little flick. Be a little cheeky here. Don't mind me. This beacon hill, maybe. There's a chance. Go to Carlo. 
Boy, am I jealous of you boys, Jimmy Broadband Superdupies. Guess where they are right now. Behind. They're at Monaco. Oh, Dylan got loose. I will take advantage of this. Yeet. Up to second. Gotta get around Paris. And I have just a little under two laps to do it. Just got the top of my stream. Oh, yeah. Hilarious joke, am I right? Let me say, well, let me tell you, this Porsche sure is unleashed. <laughs> Get it? Because I did a bunch of performance upgrades. The like Paris has a little bit of a straight line advantage on me, but nothing I can't overcome. A little bit of a corner skill. Oh, and he's loose. Swoose on up the inside here, take the lead. That's a PO alert on the streets. Hi, Mike. Yeah, surprisingly, a clean overtake. That's your second lap. First place. Best lap. One more lap to go. Yeah. <laughs> All those things. Hold on to the lead. One more lap. We uh, got race one in the bag. Run away, run away. Run away in Monaco. Top the speed. Ooh, car was starting to get a little unsettled there. Ultimate clean racing. This isn't Forza. A turn catches me out often because of its a uh, decrease in radius, and I always forget about it until I'm there. Bibbidi bomb, bibbidi boom, bing bong bow. I don't know what the hell I just said. All I know is I win, and then I'm going to get damaged and lose, probably lose my uh, my safe bonus. Oh no, didn't count the damage. Okay, we're good. Oh wait, it's a club event. You probably won the safe race. bonus anyways. Did it? Lap time one twenty four point three. Everyone's in the S. You're the tournament leader. I should have got the standard coupe since everyone's riding the S. Model. Yeah. yeah, there's no safe bonus in these club events, I forgot. Dirt to dirt. Oh, almost beat my old, uh, my other record time. The Carrera R the RS. Not quite, though. Oh, this is a lot easier than real-life Monaco. For one, it's a lot wider, and two, it's just laid out differently to where it's kind of easier to traverse. Now we're going to go to layout number three, which is uh, a little bit uh, a little bit different. So, uh... Oh, okay. It did do some damage. Which my car at the finish there. Oh, well, it's fine. But uh, let's go. Race two at circuit three. This is uh, going to France. I don't fucking know, dude. Three, two, one, go! Away we go. From the pole. Here comes Paris. Oh, shit. Oh, he's, he's going to stop at nothing. All right. Let's see how it is. Starting here again. Okay. Right through the tunnel, we're gonna go left here. Go 
this way. Remember the challenges of this layout, of course. Probably won't, but here we are. Faster. Whoopsie. That's fine, I have the lead. I can afford to be a little more careful. Oh, here comes Paris. He's not being careful, he's eating. He wants to win. That's your first lap, first place. Gotta be really careful there. Crossing around the fountain. Someone loved the Chevy Monte Carlo so much. Yes, that is exactly how that happened. <laughs> Like, what do we name our little uh, a little mini state here? What do you see? I really like me some Chevrolets. How about Monte Carlo? Hey, I didn't say that. Oh, yeah, that about Jimmy Johnson, I mean. Hey, it's his decision. I mean, he has had a really good, successful uh, cup career, I'd say. That's your second lap. You're in first place. Good. Best lap. Okay. This is your final lap. This isn't lap. the WWE. You can't just do that. I was brought up. I don't really have anything to say about it, to be honest. Just like, oh, Jimmy's retiring. I mean... that That's it. <laughs> that's all I got. Absolute future Hall of Famer, that's for sure. I just hope Hendrick doesn't freaking fall without uh, Jimmy's guidance. Getting like which turns are tighter than others, despite just staring at the map. So I'm just like, oh, slow down. Oh, I didn't need to. Uh, brakes. Uh, uh. And I win. Boom. I need to start slowing down before the finish line so that shit doesn't happen. You place first. So there we go, another fairly easy one. Since I, you know, went full ham on the upgrades on this thing. The You're game is taught me, leader. don't hold back any punches. And, uh, well, I'm not pulling back any punches anymore. So, there's that. So I got a two-point lead on Freeze. All that shit. Beat them, uh, them lap records. Alright. So, excuse me. Hello, Binding. Move on to our final race at Circuit 2. 
And oh, hey, it didn't actually apply any damage that time. All right, cool. So circuit number two looks like it's gonna be pretty fast. And uh, here we go. One more trip around Monte Carlo, indeed. Three, two, one, go! All right, away we go. The final race of the uh, where this is called the Classic 911 Cup or whatever. I don't remember the name. Smooth. Smooth and steady. I have not seen Ford vs. Ferrari. Considering I never watch movies, even though I keep saying, I need to watch this, 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 I'll probably never see it. Also, hi, Fundy. Pfft, <sighs> Yeah, I've heard it's I've heard good things about Ford, uh, Ford versus Ferrari. That's your first lap, first place. There's pretty much like oh oh okay, three seated harder than me through the uh, around the fountain. Uh. Oh yeah, I saw you mention something about that on Twitter, Thunder. Sounds interesting to me. But, uh, I know one movie I'm going to have to try to force myself to watch, like, in the theater, is uh, Sonic. I, I gotta support them after what they did. As in, actually listening to feedback. I'll have to read the message more after this race. I only saw like I only glanced at it and actually read exactly what you're doing. Like I know what you're doing, but I don't know. Second lap, first place, best lap, exact last details. lap. I wasn't able to read the exact details. That was much better through around the fountain that time. Yeah, you can lay it on me after this race is over. Which should not take too long since we're on the final lap. And sliding, flipping and dipping. I'm actually going to slow down here as I cross the line, Just so the car doesn't go flying into the wall or a fountain or something. There we go. You place first. Ta da! The clean soy. In my S target. Congratulations! You have won the tournament. You're ready to challenge the next tournament. Yeah, I did it. That's 30 grand. It's almost a full return on my investment, but not quite. And six fastest lap time on that track. Okay. Oh, fastest in the Moby Dick. Alright. 
cool and good. It's also a nice camera shot through the tunnel. I like it. So that is done. That was the uh, that was the classic 911 cup complete. Woo! So now, go go and take all those parts off of that, and then we're going to uh, do the next uh, tournament. So.